Hi there, welcome back everyone. Cut it off. I didn't want me in it. Hi there everyone. Welcome back to Cook with Mary Sue. I'm finally doing a video of that now that my kitchen is just about 95% through. Okay, what I'm going to do today is Monday and I'm going to surprise my husband with a breakfast casserole. <laughs> but guess who my new cameraman is? Uh-oh. <laughs> he might know something. <laughs> okay, what I'm doing here is a bread and egg with meat and cheese casserole, an all-in-one dish. As you know, I love to do all-in-one dishes. I love something quick and easy, throw it together, have the least amount of pans to wash. Okay, here's my bread. I got everything ready. Here's my bread, my bread all diced up or cut up in bite-sized pieces. Over here we have a Italian smoked sausage, a 12-ounce package. I got it in dice size. It's fully cooked, so it'll be easy to put the casserole and let it cook. I've got uh, six eggs here. As you see, I'm doing it in a just a regular small 8x8. Eight eight. This might be 9x9 nine nine inch casserole dish. Just for two of us. If I wanted to make a family size, I'd put it in a 9x13 and just use more eggs. Now, like I said, it's bread casserole. You can use any type of bread you want. I'm using... French bread. I just diced it up. I used a half a loaf because I make a small size casserole. I thought about using Hawaiian bread over here because it's nice and big and thick. And I actually wanted to do this with Texas toast, but I went to two stores down the street from my house. Could not find any Texas toast. And I just don't feel like driving 45 minutes to a Walmart to buy some. So I'm going to use what I have on hand, which is what I do for a lot of my meals. Just learn to use what you have on hand and make do with the best you can. <laughs> I'm going to use a shredded, oh, I got to get my shredded cheese out. Some Velveeta here. Like I said, five eggs. If you don't have the, the block cheese on hand, you can easily, easily use the Velveeta slices. First thing I did was I greased my pan. I just happened to use a, I this is butter flavored block of Crisco. You can use a spray type or anything you want, as long as you put a little, a little grease in there so it doesn't stick. On the bottom here, I'm going to put a few pieces of my bread here. This is probably going to be two layers. Next time I go stir, I'm going to buy some Texas toast and do this again with Texas toast. But you can customize this to use any type of bread you want to on hand. As long as, as, long as it's something nice and thick. It might not do so good with regular white sandwich type bread. You need something a little bit thicker so it soaks up the eggs better. That's good there. Now I'm going to put my I'm going to put the cheese here, cheese slices. If you want, you can do you can make this with just shredded cheese, no slice of Vita. But I thought that slice of Vita would melt in there and taste so good, melted all over it. Now I'm going to put half the meat here. Like I said, this is fully cooked Italian sausage. You can make this with any type of meat you want to. You can make a, use regular sausage or bacon or ham or a combination of all of it. You might want to throw in some veggies, maybe. Wouldn't hurt. Now, with the five eggs here, I'm going to add this one cup of milk and give it a good little stir. a little bit of this over about half right now okay that's a good little start there I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little variety of different cheese in it make it nice and yummy I've got a little bit of Mexican blend I've got a little mozzarella and a little sharp cheddar I love to blend my cheeses make it nice and creamy and tasty with all different flavors of cheese and I probably need to use up this Mexican because it's kind of my oldest cheese. I like to use it up before it goes bad. I hate to have to throw cheese out. It's too expensive to throw out. Okay. Now we're going to do another layer here on top. Do a little, do a little smush in here. This is going to cook in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes. Only thing that really has to cook is the egg. Everything else is already fully cooked. I think I can squeeze all this bread in because the egg's going to soak it up good. Smush, smush, smush. Okay, 
I did put a piece of pan in the oven to go under this, just in case it goes over. It won't make a mess. How's it looking, Mr. Cameraman? <laughs> it will look better cooked. <laughs> it will, yeah. I promise you, it will. Hey, don't fall out there. Uh, oops. There we go. I made a mess just a little bit. That's okay. That's why I keep... That's the mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. I keep paper towels on hand and you don't make a mess, you're not cooking right, you know? <laughs> okay, we're going to finish up some of this cheese on top. Like I said, I want to finish up this Mexican blend here first. This is a nice little heavy stoneware uh, baking dish I bought a few months ago, right before Christmas. I already had them. They come in for Christmas for only $8.99. That's a good deal for uh, two, two or three quart baking dish. I think it's a three quart. Now we'll throw in a little mozzarella here. Mozzarella's going to give it some good old gooeyness. I don't want to put my lid on yet. Hey, okay. like I said, I'll cook this on 350 for about 30 minutes. We'll check it then and see how it looks. This is all going to melt down. I promise you, it will shrink up in the dish once it starts cooking. That won't be any problem. Okay, we're going to go in there now. We'll look back in a few seconds, it'll be done. Got a lot of cheese in it. This coming out pretty good. I think it will hurt to cook another 10 minutes, maybe. What do you think? Uh, not to cook. <laughs> I'm the eater. So much cheese in there, it's hard to tell between. Yeah. See, I see the egg hard, that's cheese. Mm -hmm. Got lots of cheese in it. Okay. I think the egg part's done. It's all soaked into the bread too good. Let's see if we can take some of this up. Smells so good. Ooh. You could sometimes too even put little uh, dice hash browns in it, be good. I love that at some point. You can make all kinds of variations of this. I like the spatula. It's got a little curve in it. It makes it easy to scoop stuff up with it. Ooh, look at all the cheese there. Now, we're back on. I did put it back in for about barely 10 more minutes. I, a little bit higher temp. I wanted to make sure the egg was done. It's hard to tell the egg from all this gooey cheese. But, but you can tell the egg is set there nice. Yep. You want to. You can let this cool a few minutes before you take it up. So it's not so runny when you take it up from all the gooey cheese. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's all that Velveeta through there. Wow, gorgeous. Hey, That's it. That's it for today with my bread and egg casserole. I will try this again later in the future with a different type of bread. I still want to try it with Texas toast sometime. See how it comes out. And I'll try it with other types of meat later and with potatoes sometimes. We'll call it a wrap, and I'll get back with y'all maybe next week with another video, I hope. God bless everyone. Bye.